stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. Let's not keep Chevalier waiting. Merde, un sang s'écrit. Despise the. Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph? Couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Captain Louis Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! Ah, uh, bien, bien. I will teach you some manners, boy. Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner! Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Ready to teach them a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Where are your mates bad. now, you bilge rat? 
Let's have a word. Keep an eye out, lads. Pals are still out there somewhere. Thank you. Many thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. Happy hunting, lad! Let her ablaze! Sink that French vessel! It's no match for you! Ha ha! Yeah! I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheikh. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain. Next to me, you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel. Even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? Hell of a ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes. Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look... as anything on the seven seas shall we begin captain indeed mate oh, God, no. she's a mess but she's still afloat and her name's the morgan morgan silly fairy queen who ruined merlin the wise oh she's perfect for you shay a ship Shin. They will sink her! Let's put the Morrigan to the test, Captain Shay. Ready for battle, men! Do something! All hands! Hostile warship on our heels! Guard fire! No! No! Brace for impact, sir! My ship! This vessel is battle ready after all. I will return to what is left of the gift. It's a long way home, and we have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads. Chevalier is pleased with us. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. 
Wise words. What the hell did you do? It's some kind of dormant virus? Shit! Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Emergency. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. In our safety drills. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. Stay positive. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby-trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out, so I think it's all. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie, the elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DaCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody, as far as I can tell. If Shea Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Flashing wild. Once you restore the server, I'll connect your Animus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. Work. 
The assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. And that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Altair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. The assassin <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles! Adewale, how go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. He's a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. I see. You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me what happened. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean Making waves crashed. Making others wait for you, place. as usual? And were lost. Thousands. No family was left untouched. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like this. I did not You are late. Oh. What did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase, and will continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. So, oh, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Shoot these targets. Take your time. And I'll see much more work after this. Reload. Anyone can hear targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on, hurry up.
Time's running out. Well done, Shay. Keep it up. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well, but they'll never show it. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What will we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Can you kill without being Nicely done. I, I see surprised. him there! He's right there! Attack from around a corner, and your target will never know what happens. I saw you. Attack from around a corner, and your target will never know what hit him. He's right there! Top form, Shay. You certainly know how to handle yourself. You certainly know how to handle yourself. Hmm? You did better than I expected. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. Yeah. 
It's time for the hunt. With all your senses together to find prey. Now to use what you have taken from nature. Keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. Say, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast. But I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe.
Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. A plan or no plan. We choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. We only have one lead, Shay. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. So Achilles tasked you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mac and Dal Shay. You have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? <laughs> Watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. Do this for him. For us. And you'll do much more than earn his trust. You know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts. Studies what little is known about the pieces of Eden. And of course, he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course. Liam. You can be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. Then Achilles is heir. Connor may inherit the house, but she'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our allies has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the roast beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You... vessel and she looks to be in trouble that's fine indeed perhaps we should aid her journey to the boss place. now let's not be too hasty she's full of crown cargo take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself Good you sight i say this is a good day to lighten king george's pockets be careful a 
few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls. And all spoils. We can board it. Before the crew knows what hit them. The maids free! Yeah, the sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. Yes. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master stationed nearby. We can spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois Macando is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. You'd better borrow some coin. Bartering with an empty purse won't get you very far. à tout prix les intérêts du roi. Les seuls intérêts que je veux protéger, c'est les miens. Euh. 
Ninja. What's on your mind, Captain? Thanks for your trust, Captain. Je t'assure, j'ai envisagé toutes les solutions possibles. Pour veiller à ce que le tout reste exactement tel quel. Du genre autoritaire, quoi.
I never thought I'd say this to a complete stranger, but I owe you my life.
Empty costly, Captain. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats. You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. Scouts must be paid. And would you look at that? Standing right in our way, Anticosti. What say you? We sink every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. Mainmast! Bring in top halyards! Pull! Fire! All ready! Gone, go, Captain! British vessels! They brought ready here! Ship coming after it, sir! It's our hush guard and dryers! Good! Fire! Have the whole thing figured out for us. And yeah, maybe I'm Emperor of Rome. Obvious Caesar. Salt air, open skies, man out on the ocean. It's as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. But what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? The temperance stick to this continent like tar. Don't feel liberated until we pry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men, instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their boot on your neck? There it is. Anticosti. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Throw it all on! Loose top, those captain! Short and sail! Get Dock up. the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. The rum here is terrible. Let me see. That's not rum. It's old Delphine. What the devil is that? Whiskey. Well, the whiskey here. So, I'll go with the first one. Take a look at this. I borrow these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Where there no charts, no, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, it's your turn to find him. You, sir, have our thanks.
This is more like it.
Careful. That's quite a rough squall, Captain. Get me some spit. There's the guy that's a grind. He can't put as much say. Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Well, if we've any luck, that ship Who's will lead sailed? us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington has run it out of his. Keep a weather eye on the cargo. Got him. Aye. 
There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. A blockade, Captain! But this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. I can track that package. Let's catch Find this Washington. Sub blockade. And remember, Washington must die. Keep the slippery bastard in sight, boys. Wait a minute. Now, what if he stopped here? Oh. Another body? I'll make sure I get you.
Oh, no, not another one. Let's see. What's this? A rifle? You there! Stay! Where you are? How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Splendid party, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Master Washington has outdone himself. He has been looking rather pale, though. And his cough is worse than ever. Stop! I need to get to Washington first, then I'll worry about the artifacts.
Brother, are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Just give me a fright. <laughs> you are too late, assassin. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <laughs> But my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Damn it! I'd better hurry. I have to get to the Morgan. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. Is that a ship, Mortar? That's not sported! I've got a shot! 
Lawrence Washington is dead. He looked disappointed. The sickly way that man looked, he would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript in the box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. And find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. A rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he wants you to think. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that, he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know, but it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Le Chasseur has a lead on the box. To meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts would access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not. I understand it myself, Shane. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strained language of the manuscript, too. But the plate were of a banner in Latin. We'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces be. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on the condition of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as John and Jesus, but both could be lovely. You see, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. We're almost there, Captain. The Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Douse the Royals and Tops! You're headed straight for land, sir! Douse 
Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafou nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Captain? I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ram cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? It's there he is! By. Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you! He's seen us! Give chase! But hold your fire! We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea! Can this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Our target's a smart man, but out of his own. Samuel Smith is the Templar's treasurer. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or ran into your pirates. He's hitting his ship. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known about it. Well, he's back from a long voyage. Now's our chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templar's wealth, doesn't he? He's out of the way. Washington entrusted the Templar's box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. Box comes first. But we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship. We'll force him to beach. Brief it on top! Look, Captain. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you are not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. It worked. The way is clear. Now, uh, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is giving away. These waters are full. It's an ambush. Up where you sit, Diablo d'Affaire. Smith must not escape. Ready to fire!
Confirmed, mate. I don't see Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find him. Still within reach. Brief the top sills and gallants. What Friday. wickedness is this? Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. That wind's trouble, Captain Cormac. Haul in the stuntsels! Stuntsels out! I can't close my eyes without dreaming of snow. has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. Artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed.
the precursor box. Smith's dead. Well done, Che. Where's Chevalier? Returning to Le Garfou. We'll have to celebrate without him, I'm afraid. I don't much feel like celebrating, Liam. I know we have to get these artifacts back, but at what cost? Samuel Smith. Necessary. But nothing. Oh, don't ever... 